Well, hey, you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Salisa coming to you from Beautifully Neat and you in her uniform. Um, I decided today I was going to do a 100% unedited cash stuffing video. And I don't even think I've ever done it before, but you know what? We're going to roll with it and just see how it all comes out. I have my YouTube income that I've held on to for some time, and we are going to go ahead and cash stuff that into its proper places. And um, yeah. I don't want to explain all the reasons why I'm doing an unedited video because I'm going to need some of that. If you're just nosy and you want to know how much my latest YouTube pay was, stay tuned. If you want to know why I'm doing an unedited video, leaving in all the ums, oops, mispronunciation of words, then also stay tuned. It probably will be a little bit of fun, honestly, <laughs> because I'm going to have to fill in some blank spaces, but I think we can get through it. And with all that being said, let's get right off into the video. All right, you guys, so the only editing I'm gonna be doing on this video is connecting that intro that you just saw to my regular intro of my videos to this cash stuffing portion, okay? And we'll talk about more as to why I did it. It's not even that big of a deal, so don't make it into it. I'm not gonna make it anything super like dramatic. When I said don't make it, I'm talking to myself. I'm not gonna make it anything super dramatic, but it will be a rather chatty one because in between transition, between cash stuffings, I am going to have to fill some of the space and I'll be telling you guys some stories and some back things that have been happening. All right, so let's talk about um, how much I made on YouTube in the month of June. We're in July, we get paid in July for our June payout. And I did take a portion of the month off in the end of June and I was uploading some vlogs, but my regular cash stuffing videos, I was not. And so my payout was a little bit down. And plus I was working a lot before I left to go to Japan in the month of June. So, you know, that also reduced some of the time that I can actually spend making videos and therefore earning money. With all that being said, I still made $1,019 for the month of June. And I just got pay, paid that pod. And I just got paid that in the month of July. Now, let me tell you something. Typically, I would cut that out, okay? I would just edit that right on out and put some music over it and make it sound right. Sometimes I leave a mispronunciation in, but you guys are gonna see how many hiccups I truly be having because your girl talks fast. And therefore, I stutter a bit, okay? It is what it is. Okay, so $1,019 is what I got. Out of that, I did need to buy a couple of things for the house. And then I had this cash in this particular envelope just sitting around and waiting for me to do this cash stuffing. Um, and so I had, I think, $900, I want to say, in here in the beginning of the week. And now we are at the end of the week. And let's count up and see how much we have. There's one. Oh, wait a minute. First, let me organize these bills because I forgot. Whenever I go to the bank, they just give it to me any old kind of way. And I literally have just been going in that envelope and pulling out what I need and not even rearranging the bills. And you guys know, the way my OCD is set up, uh-uh, uh-uh, we can't do it. Okay, hold on. Hold on. This won't take long. Pause, please. Okay, there we go. All right, so let's count up and see how much I have left after dibbling and dabbling. And I'll explain what I've been dibbling and dabbling for. All right, so there's one, 52, 20, 40, 60, 83, 20, 40, 60, 84, 20, 40, 60, 70, 80, 95, 5, 10, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 555. You see why I need to do a cash stuffing? Because $555 from 900 is quite a bit that I've spent. And I know that I spent it on things like going to um, get fast food, you know, if I wanted to get something to eat or buying the girls at work um, some donuts, things like that. You know, just grab a 50, spend it when I get to work, spend some on the way home. And next thing you know, that money's gone. I did order a couple of things and I remember I took some money back to the bank. I think it was $200 because I didn't have enough and I didn't want to transfer money from savings to checking. So I took 200 of this and put it back into the bank and paid something but or bought some things that I needed. But Overall, I feel like a nickel and dime when cash is just sitting around and does not have a space. And that's the reason why we're going to go ahead and put it in its proper place now. All right. So let's start with the Monopoly cash. This is the Monopoly cash. It has 12 little tiny envelopes and you can designate how much you want your dollar amounts to be for your envelopes. Mine equal up to $800. I've done all but two and we're going to get those done right 
now. Let me get the cash tray. Don't forget what you're doing, Salisa. Okay, so the reason why I'm doing an unedited video is because I want to get this out to you guys tonight. And sometimes by the time I edit and then try to upload it, um, it takes an extra hour or two for me. And um, I got off work early today. I was at work. Um, and I have to go to work again tomorrow. And I got off work early because um, I wanted to go pick up Janae. Janae has a performance. Hi, Gingy. Janae has a performance that is um, for the city of Atlanta coming up. And so with that being said, I needed to go pick her up from school and bring her back here again so she can go to the rehearsals as well as the performance for the city of Atlanta. And, uh-oh, you guys are going to hear the cats galore. Hey, Ginge. Hi. I know. Okay. Um, and so I needed to go pick her up. And I don't want to be going when I get off work and I still have to go back to work tomorrow. The census started getting low and we discharged a bunch of patients. And I was like, you know what? I'm a volunteer because I'm on overtime anyway. I'm on overtime because all of the money I'm making from this first paycheck at the beginning of the month, I'm going to be using a lot of it towards Janae's housing. So I was like already hustling up funds. But I was like, I want to do the things that I want to do. So uh, <laughs> part of that is going to go pick up Janae. Part of that is coming here to do a budget and cash stuff of this YouTube income. Also, I want to film some shorts. I want to do the fun things that bring me joy. And this is one of them. Being here with you guys, believe it or not. So still in my scrubs. I came right on upstairs to film the video after I picked up Janae. All right. $95 is the other one. $50, $90, And I felt like it had been a while. And I was going to wake up at like 3 a.m. and do a cash stuffing. And it seems good until the alarm clock hits. And then I'd be like, oh, no way. I can't do it. You know, I did it a couple of times before. But these days recently, I think because I was working so many shifts back to back, it's just too much. I can't do it. Anyway, we have completed Monopoly Cash. Monopoly Cash. It's all done. All my little 12 envelopes are full. And I am going to bring a video talking to you guys about what I'm going to do with all my completed challenges. I know I've said it, but it'll be coming sooner than later. Don't worry. Um, school's starting back soon. And I'm going to have a lot of time during the day to just do the things that I enjoy. If you guys hear rustling and tussling, it's Gingy inside of some cellophane bags that are in this basket. She loves to make her little home in there. So she circles around back and forth until she finds a comfortable spot. And then she will settle down. Right, Ginge? Right, okay, then she'll settle down. All right, so, uh-oh, wait. Whoa, wait, wait. Oh, okay, so there's my Monopoly cash, <laughs> and it's all complete. All right, we still got some other things to do, and I'm mainly gonna be doing savings challenges, but I do wanna put some money in my cash wallet, so let's get to that next. Hold on. This, I know this thing closes, because it was closed, so now you know that I'm doing unedited. I gotta make this thing close. Hold up. Hold up, buttercup. There we go. I'm like, I didn't put it in there right. There we go. That's Monopoly Cash. All right, let's move on and put a little bit into my cash wallet. Hold on, because I got some stuff. Let's, okay, there we go. Had my little information out there. Okay, so I do want to put some in my cash wallet, and it's mainly for coffee. Kids, no. Groceries, no way. I went inside Publix today after I picked up Janae. I ran in there real quick to get some of these little cherry plums. And um, I don't know if you guys eat those, but those are so good. And people are complaining like, oh, they're a hybrid fruit. And I'm like, broccoli is a hybrid vegetable. But anyway, um, cherry plums I went to go get. And I found myself saying, Publix is my happy place. Like <laughs> all the food in there. I wanted to just go shopping and look around and see what's new and pick up stuff. It'll get all my money. Gas, I do need to put 25. That I do because I don't have but enough. I only have a little bit of gas in my car right now. I want to say a quarter of a tank. Eat out. I'm not going to put anything because we've been eating out and out and eating up the out. Okay. Stunkin, I am going to put some money though and I'll put $20. And I might go um, deposit this back into the bank. I'm not sure. Or I'll just, because I want to add it to my card and I don't want to stand in line at the Starbucks by my job. It just always has a long line and I like to order ahead so I can just pick it up when I get there. 
Um, weekend fun, we're not putting anything. Nothing's going in self-care. My nails are holding up fabulously, so nothing's happening there. And Gingy and the pets, you guys, they almost ate through all those treats that I got on sale at Family Dollar when they were going out of business. So I got to order them some more treats soon, but not now. And that's it for my cash wallet. All right, what are we moving on to next? What are we moving on to next? Let's, this box is done and this box is done. Let's move on to the savings box. Hold on, let me stack up my little stuff over here. Okay, we're moving on up. Let's do um, section six is where we're at. Uh, right here. And I'm gonna put $50 into section, section six. Do I have 100? No, wait, 50. No, I'm just gonna put 50. And that's gonna go into this envelope. I should already have $100 in here. Let me see. 20, 40, 60, 80, 91. Right, 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 right. Okay, so now we have 150. I'm gonna try to hit this box pretty hard. Um, I'm pretty excited to bring you guys some information about what I'm gonna do with all these completed challenges. It'll be coming out soon. Um, as soon as I get a little bit of air, you know? I gotta come up for air, she gotta breathe, exhale, and then I'm gonna bring you guys the video. So that's it for the savings box. All right, now that I have that, let's go ahead and work on my Shine and Save. That's another one that I'm super stoked about. I'm debating if I should take out these sections whenever I do things with the completed challenges. This one has 390. The quarter two has three, no, 450, I think it is. Let me see. I think it's 450. One, two, three, 450. Yeah, 450. This whole um, binder, once it's done, will equal $2,024, but I might take the quarters out as we go. Right now we're gonna do the shine and save, and I have enough money that I feel comfortable scratching one of these. I'll say a prayer, okay, here we go. Uh-oh, is that a two? Two, eight? Wait a minute. Everything is working for my good. It's totally working out. I think it's called All Things Are Working For My Good, but whatever. Anyway, it's working out. Should I do that one too? Let's do it. Oh man, if it's a large one, I'll be having $100 over here. But let's see. Oh, not bad. 55 and 28. And we have completed the bonus section. I kind of want to complete this whole book before I take it out, but then another part of me is like, I want to move this over somewhere else. So I might be taking this out of here when I show you guys what I'm gonna do with all my completed challenges. Right now we need to add 28 and 55. Where is Mr. Calculator? Oh, here, okay. Cause you know, the way my math is set up, it ain't right, $83. $83. So let's see, do we have two ones in here? Yes, we do. So we'll take two out and put 85 in, 20, 40, 60, 80, and 85, hold on. So the city of Atlanta is trying to get the Sundance Film Festival to come here and they're having a little meeting and I don't even know if that's public information, but um, their little um, program that they're having, they want Janae's choir to sing at that for the city of Atlanta. So her little quartet is gonna be singing there, which I'm super excited for her. She gets so many opportunities to sing in the most interesting places. And um, that's why I had to go pick her up so she can do that. All right, let's count up what's in the shine section. 51, 52, 53, 320, 40, 60, 80, 94, 4, 5, 10, 4, 15. Okay, uh, we doing something around here. That section is finished. So what did I say? 390, 450, and 415. That's 1255 in here so far, and we're supposed to get to 2024. So wait a minute, minus 2024. 769. Yeah, they're all about 400 and something each, it looks like. So that's good. I could take that. All right, so that's our shine and save. Let's move on and put some money in our floral binder because I haven't done that in a while. All right, this is the florals. I don't even know if I have anything small. Oh, there's a 50. 75, 50. Wait, what? 80. 75, what's back here, 35. Okay, all right, let's do it. 
let's put um, 20, 40, 50, and then let's put another one. No, let's put a large one. 20, 40, 60, 80. Let's put an 85. Because I keep going for the little ditties, but I'm saying one day I'm going to need something small like $35 and I can put that there. Or a $50 one, I'll know that that's there. But for right now, I thought I saw an 85. Did I? 75 or 80? Just straight out 80. Let's put the 80. All right, so that'll be 20, 40, 60, 70, 80 dollars that we'll put into this section. This is one of the binders that I have no idea what it's going to equal up to when it's done. And I could go through and add it all up, but that might take some of my fun out of it. So I think I'm just going to leave that like that. And that's the florals. Should I do another one? Let's do one more. Let's do a 50. Let's do a 50. Why not? We're really just going hard on this one today. Okay, there's another $50. Let's put that in here. You know, when I was do starting to do this video, I was like, I'm going to have to have everything close by because the amount of times that I'm shuffling things around typically takes up a lot of space and dead, you know, dead air time. And I didn't want that for you guys. So I was like, I got to get it together. I think I'm doing pretty good. And I'm not stuttering. What's happening? What's happening? Because usually I'm talking all fast and I'm stuttering all over the place, but not today. Not today. All right, so let's see. Um, let's do pack your bags. I put that into this pink piggy bank. Let me put it right here. It's my unbreakable piggy bank. And what do I have? 30, 50. See, when I hide it from myself, then I don't end up respending it. So let's go ahead and put 30 in here. I want to use this blue. Sure. Oh, no. Not the loss of my kindergarten skills again, y'all. You have seen it here first. She barely could stay in the lines. Okay, so that's $30, and we're going to put that in here. And there's 10, 20, whoa, 20. Uh-uh, get in there. Oh, well, no. Up, oh, 20. And then another 10 is 30. So that's that. And this is our easy cash money. No, easy cash more money. No, easy cash save more money <laughs> challenges book edition. I've done quite a bit of challenges in here already. And I did a little reel. I'll put it up here, a short that tells you exactly what I've already done. But we are going to try to finish this one by the end of August. So I got to get on it. Okay, $750. Right now we just added $30. So I'm super stoked about that. Let's get this big old pink piggy bank off the table though. All right, now let's see. What do I have left? 22 um, hold on one second. Hold the line. I want to see what I can do in here. This is my regular savings challenge binder. I probably can do one of these smaller scratch-offs. I have three scratch-offs that I'm adding to this area, but I'm going to try this one since it's the one I started working on first. And this comes from Katie Budgets Designs. So Katie Budgets Designs. Let's see if we can put something in here. Oh yeah, see, oh, I'm talking about Katie being a game. She got all the tiny numbers. Okay, $4, should I have to go again? Because she's a daredevil, she will. Look it, I couldn't make it up if I wanted to. I almost wanna go again, but I know I don't have enough for that. So let's just zero that out. All right, that's $19. Is there any ones in here? Um, no. Oh, wait, 1920. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. That's right. Okay, there's $20 that I'm putting in here, and I took out one. Um, this challenge, remember, has that large scratch off card in it as well, the money for the large scratch off card. So, um, not all of this comes from these little small scratch offs, but so far we have one, 52, 53, 54, 55, 20, 40, 60, 86, 6, 20, 30, 40, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 91. 691. Almost $700 in here. I'll take it. 
Hold on, let me put this back. And then I'm gonna show you what I'm gonna do with that little bit. And if you've been here before, then you will already know. Hold on one second. We only have $3, so I'm gonna put it towards my quarterly challenge here in the Easy Cash Budget Weekly Planner, second edition, third quarter. I'm on the third quarter right here. And we're gonna see if we have a number three. Do we have a number three? Oh no, we don't have a number three. Well, we have a number two and that sounds close enough. Let's use the same marker and we'll color in number two, but we'll add $3. I could put the extra dollar in Big Bertha. Maybe I'll do that. I'll do that. So I'm not adding so much extra to the quarterly. A whole dollar's extra. You know what I mean? Like it's crazy. Okay, uh, <laughs> we're gonna put $2 into our quarterly challenge and that's in here. Dun, da, 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 dun, 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 dun. Here we go. Quarterly challenge. We'll add two dollars here. These little quarterly challenges are part of this planner. If you're interested in getting a digital download, it's available at my Etsy store. The physical planner with monthly sheets, weekly budgeting sheets, as well as four savings challenges and some monthly calendar spreads is located on Amazon. If you're looking for this book, the link is down below in the description. All right, let's see what we have so far for the quarterly challenges. We did quarterly one, quarterly. We did quarter one, quarter two, and then we've only done a tiny bit of quarter three, but we're gonna get it done. So there's one, two, 50, 70, 90, 310, 320, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70, 71, 72, 73, 74. I don't even know what I said. What'd I say? 374? What'd I say? 1, 2, 50, 20, 310, 20, 30, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. Yeah. 374 in our quarterly challenges. Hip, hip. Hooray. It's going faster than I know. All right. So that is it. And we have $1. I'm going to drop her off into Miss Big Bertha. I would have done Bingo when his, was his name oh, but I'm not editing to like spin the wheel and put all that together. So let me get Big Bertha to the table. If you guys don't know, this is my ones and fives challenges and I've not been putting anything in here, but we're going to put a dollar and we're going to get back on track for the month of August. You just wait and see. Just wait and see, Big Bertha. Okay. I truly think that is everything. Let's see, we completed a challenge, which I'm trying to comp complete as many challenges as I can before I bring you guys that video explaining what I'm gonna do with all my completed challenges. So we've completed another challenge. We now have the Monopoly Cash, the Character Savings Boxes. We also have some monthly challenges in the back of my book. We have the Pig Challenge. We're gonna complete the Chicken Challenge coming up soon. Um, we have the completed Large Scratch Off card. There's quite a bit. And with those challenges, I do want to try something different and I'm going to bring it to you guys here to show you and explain to you about why and what I'm doing and why I chose to do that. So expect for that video to come out soon. But in the meantime and in between time, you guys, we have made it through this video and I cannot believe it. I think the total runtime of this video is 22 minutes plus my intro and the opening little segment. It might be like a 25 minute video. And I'm not gonna have to edit anything. I'm about to piece this together, film some shorts, and get another tutorial video out filmed so I can get that out to you guys shortly. But for right now, I appreciate you guys for being here. Yeah, it wasn't as rough as I thought it was gonna be. Hmm, maybe I should try this more often. Anyway, if you're new here, I appreciate you. If you're true, you know I got you. Don't forget, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you'll be notified the next time I put out a video. Like this video because it helps it to be suggested helps it to be suggested to other people who might need the inspiration to save little bits that will eventually add up to lots. Also, um, share this video with someone if you think they would enjoy just having a little fun while saving a little cash. All right, I think that's everything. I'm so glad that YouTube income came out of my account and out of my house just sitting around in cash because I've been spending it up. But I do want to say a huge thank you to you guys for even being here with me. I can't even put thank you on the screen because I'm not editing. But thank you so much for being here with me. It's because of you that this whole cash stuffing and check was even possible. I love you all and I will talk to you all very, very soon. All right, that's everything. Take care.